word. I'm Dave Nemeth. Thanks for joining us. And sugar cookies and some of those great pecan tarts. You love, cannot love type you, that Mom. fast. Thank you very much. I was just typing a letter to my mother. <laughs> sure you were. Yeah. Not connected to anything. Uh, the, Betty the, the, Jean. The, the typewriter, the keyboard, has changed quite a bit, as you can see. There's no more cent sign on there. The, the, Larry uh, Cotton pointed that out. There used to be, you know, there's a dollar sign, but there's no cents. No sense. Uh, key on There's there no at sense all. to that. Well, the typewriter, by the way, dates all the way back to at least 1714 when Englishman Henry Mill filed a vaguely worded patent for a machine for the impressing or transcribing of letters on paper. But the first working one actually was invented by a Danish pastor named Malling Hansen. It was called the writing ball. And there it is. There it is. Looks like a pin cushion. Obviously, the typewriter and keyboard have evolved through the years, but there are other ways of recording the spoken word, which leads us to our very first guest. Yes, her name is Dee, and we are going to meet her shortly. But, mm -hmm. you know, what's weird about Dee is not that she's weird <laughs> at all. The fact that she knows everything about us. That is kind of scary. She knows our idiosyncrasies, definitely. She, she sits through each and every show, and she hears us talk, and she knows everything that, that we're saying and everything we're doing, and... and puts it in the printed word. She know she knows who drones on more. Right. We'll ha we'll in, ask her about that. In other words, <laughs> okay, yeah, we will. Well, I think we know the answer to that. I think uh, we do too. For <laughs> For the past couple of decades, the FCC has mandated that television shows be closed captioned. In other words, that the dialogue be available for those who are deaf or hearing impaired so they can read and understand what's going on. But it is not an easy task. Most programs are transcribed by a human operator using a stenotype machine, similar to what a court reporter uses to keep records of trial dialogue. And it's usually done in real time. In other words, live. Right. And daytime's no exception. Therefore, we have D. And we uh, happen to have this very talented lady. There she is, going to work right there. Closed captioning artist with us today. And uh, she, in fact, is the winner of the closed captioning 2010 competition for live captioning. It's our very own D. Baino. And, you know, I used to practice reading a prompter when I was at home right. by using closed captioning. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, it's, it's not a prompter, but that's a really good way if you're trying to get into the television industry. Yeah. There's, some, there's a good way to train. It, just, it, just read along with the closed captioning. It's also a good way to uh, learn a foreign language. If you're watching a, a channel in another language and you want to put on the closed captioning and put on the, the SAP, the uh, what is it, secondary audio program, sure. button, you, can, you can watch that. Very good. Why, why'd you smile when I said SAP? No. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> uh, so don't don't be afraid to, to pick up the old remote and, and hit the closed captioning button. And, and, and read uh, along. Read along. Actually, you'll probably retain more if you read along. You do. You think? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I when don't... I watch a movie with, with um, subtitles, subtitles, I don't like I it. actually, you don't? No. Too hard on the head? Yes, it is. <laughs> it's too difficult. For me, it's really great because I do, I remember the movies more after I've read them. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, why don't we meet sonographer or speech-to-text reporter D. Baino. Hey, Dee, congratulations. Thank yes, you. Yes, that Thank is you. quite, uh, well, first of all, quite a machine you have here. The yes. steno, it's the Passport Steno machine? Yes, it is. <laughs> it's wrapped in flames. Is Passport the model or is it the ma yes, manufacturer? This is, this is the latest in technology. It's actually the Passport by Advantage Software. And this machine, it, it it's, has phenomenal software in it that it, tr it tracks my exact position on the keys, the movement of the keys, the direction and the speed. So it knows what my intended keystrokes are because that's very important for translation purposes. So it's really intuitive to your particular style of writing. Exactly. I can adjust the machines. It allows me to adjust each individual key. So if I'm weak on a pinky finger, I can make that key more sensitive because if I don't get that one key to come up, sure. it's not going to match an entry in my dictionary that matches the steno to the English translation. At what point in your life did you say, I'm really great with the keyboard. I think I'm going to be a stenographer. Well, you know, it was career day in high school. Um, they brought a court reporter in, and um, they, he gave a demonstration of it, and I thought, that's the way my brain works. Wow. Good for you. Very and you beat out 40 people to win that very, award, right? Yes, very fortunate. <laughs> 40 very good people. Have <laughs> Dee doing our show because she's won this beautiful award, and that's, uh, that's quite an accomplishment. Well, it's my pleasure. You guys talk back and forth so quickly. That helps me get my speed up there. <laughs> I was going to ask you about that. Let's talk about what you've learned about us, because you probably know us better than we know ourselves. Well, I know Dave sometimes may say the wrong word. 
<laughs> well, such as what, yesterday? Like when? yesterday with Martha and Marsha. I, I knew it was Marsha. And you yet, corrected it for me. I, I did because I'm actually listening to the audio over the phone line. And, you know, sometimes, you know, it's pretty good audio, but I'm thinking, well, it sure did sound like Martha. But I know it's Marsha because I get a rundown sheet. I get very little information ahead of time, but the format's very important. So I can at least get the guest names in and maybe Google and try to find information because preparation is key to good real-time captioning. And that's how good D is sometimes behind the scenes. She's saving my butt. <laughs> do you find yourself going, oh, Dave, oh, Dave, oh, yeah, Dave. especially if we have to do a takeover, because okay. then by the third time, I'm messing it up after I got it right the first two. <laughs> All right, who talks more? Who rambles on more? I don't know. You both go back and forth really fast. I mean, who takes longer to make a point? Dave. <laughs> <laughs> He's sometimes sitting there going, would you just spit it out? Spit yes, it out, Dave. Yes. <laughs> Out. And I then when you that. spit it out, you spit it out too fast, and I'm like, what did he just say? Oh. <laughs> Me too. Dee, you and I should go for drinks after. <laughs> there you go. We take, we take advantage of this because people aren't thinking that uh, there's somebody behind the scenes taking care of all this for those who are hearing impaired. Exactly, right. And, and there are some people that want to replace us with computer voice recognition, and it just does not work. They, the, the human with the interaction with the, the Passport Center machine and the software that they have designed, it puts out almost near perfect captions and to replace this with a computer that just puts out gobbledygook mm -hmm. it, it's just I, I don't see that yeah. do you ever find yourself stumped when you really don't know how to spell a word what do you do oh sure well we can sometimes paraphrase because we're supposed to get the point across we want to get the information out there as accurately as possible and also we can if we know that we don't have certain steno strokes because we hit combinations of keys that stand for how many one keys letter. are there there are on a standard steno keyboard 22 keys plus the number bar and a standard the, the computer keyboard must have 50. <laughs> yeah. You know? Wow. And, and, and we don't have every letter of the alphabet on the keyboard, so we have to hit combinations of keys. I have to hit four keys, S-K-W-R, to get the letter J. Oh, my goodness gracious. That's a whole different language. It is, it is a different language. It's exactly what it is. And it's, it's very, um, we, we have to be very worldly because we can only caption what we know. So if you start throwing out all sorts of foreign terms or, you know, mm -hmm. names, if we're not familiar with it, you know, we're going to do our best guess at it. But, but that's why preparation is also key. So we, we learn the term. Terminology, we can enter those steno strokes or we can make a shortcut and put it in our job dictionary for like a movie title or something. Now what it's we're doing here is that this is the beginning of our show and obviously Dee's not doing her job right now so we're going to have to replay <laughs> this segment of the show for Dee later so that she can And that might caption. be a little weird captioning myself. <laughs> you will be captioning yourself. <laughs> that I a, think that's will that be right. a first? Um, I'm not sure. It might be. Okay. I can't well, remember. Well, better well, you well, than us, that's for sure. We are, we're, again, congratulations on the award. Thank and, you. And we're honored to have the very best in the business doing us. Thank yes, that is Dee Baino, and we will be watching you in action throughout the show, and we will actually see how this works. It'll be you know, real time. Yeah, and watch out. We might throw you a curveball. Uh, uh oh. Just, just, just in case, but obviously you're, you're on top of I'll it. Warm up my fingers. Oh, she knows I'll us get into inside my out. Marsha or Martha? Marsha. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Long-winded. <laughs> Dave. Little ah, bit. Daytime's Movie Man. I love you. Daytime's Movie Man Sam Hallenbeck joins us now with a preview of some new films coming up this fall. Sam? That's right. Harry Potter's all grown up. Cher's growing older still. Rapunzel's hair is growing longer. Dwayne Johnson's growing crankier by the minute. And as for Jeff Bridges, well, nearly three decades on, he's still stuck inside that video game universe. Our fall movie preview continues, so don't go anywhere. fun here today. We'd like to thank our closed captioner, D. Baino, for coming in. Look yes, at, she's still she's typing at away. work right now. Have we thrown you any uh, curveballs? And she's got to type and talk <laughs> at the she same time. She can't type and talk and, at the same right. time. I know I can't. Go ahead. Throw her a, throw her a, a word. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Yeah, she could probably do that. She's got one key for that. Right, D? Yes. Two keys. Two keys, Two keys for that. People challenge her with that all the time, I'm, so, I'm sure. So she was ready for that one. Cornucopia. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> Have a great day, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Dean. Congratulations again. You are deserve this award. Yes, congratulations. Fastest fingers on the planet. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Oh,